come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show <laughs> podcast. Wake up. The movie review and talk show podcast that comes your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not. Grab your brush, put a little makeup. <laughs> Because you're going out Saturday night. The Saturday Night Freak Show. Indeed. These are the internet radio superstars. Holly. Sean. And I'm Colin. Almost said Michaela because she's not here. <laughs> that is weird. That's really Because I was thinking, I'm weird. like, we're going around the table. I'm but not thinking about me. I'm thinking about are. it. Still discovering. Okay. Uh, it's tonight, an adventure every day. We You'll watched a movie that was chosen by. Sean. Was yeah. it safe to go under the water tonight? No, not at all. Why not? Um... Well, let me just say that um, it's summer. It is summer. And I like sequels. You do? I don't like sequels. <laughs> what? This is brand new information. And these days, everybody and their damn shark's mother is making a shark movie. <laughs> Which I'm okay with. So I thought I'd bring a shark movie that... Shows you how it's done, which in my one, opinion. And which one is that? 1978's Jaws 2. Ooh. The sequel, the, the ultimate... The ultimate sequel? The ultimate sequel? I would say. It's like one of the first sequels. Right? And it's it's one of the, like, especially to a big property such as Jaws. Yeah, which was the first big property. Right. Also, the first studio movie to put a two in in the title for a sequel. Right. That's what I'm saying. I think there is, like, some historical significance to this because. I think so. I mean, the way that we think about movies right now is that, uh, you know, they come out in theaters, they open all on the same day, they do their big box office weekend. Mm -hmm. But back when this came out, I want to say, like, I think I looked back into this, right? Because we all think it was like Star Wars Mm. or Jaws, but I think it was The Omen was was like the first. No, 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 no. Was it Jaws? Jaws, I think, was the first movie that opened in. Like a thousand something theaters yeah. at the, on the yes. same day. Mm-hmm. Then it was The Omen. Then it was Star Wars. Those yeah. successive years. Not only did it open a thousand theaters, but then they reduced it to make the movie more scarce to get the bigger crowds. Yeah, it they played did. for like a year yeah. or two like or something like that. Yeah, it's like the only time any studio has ever been like, this is doing great. Let's make it less Harder available. To get to, right. <laughs> yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah, Jaws was a phenomenon, obviously, as you know, now. and it ran <laughs> yes. forever, and then they were like... A money-making machine, and in the middle of that hype, they were like, we need a sequel. Yep. Mm. Let's do it. And Spielberg was out. He thought he'd made the ultimate shark movie he wasn't at that wrong. point. Who was in? He wasn't wrong. <laughs> who, who was in? Uh, Jeannot Schwark. Jeannot Schwark? We should know. His name rhymes know, with Jeannot. shark? <laughs> 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 all right, all right, I didn't put that together. <laughs> Very good, Holly. Is that why they cast him? <laughs> or did he you know, hired him to direct? I don't know. Not really. Okay, well. I was just, just, this is more of a universal of just like, well, you've worked. You know, we have you. You could do this. And, you know, what do you think of it? Yeah. Because they had, mm-hmm. some, they had some ideas beforehand. And they had a director before Jeannot Schwark. Who? John Hancock. Ooh, John I mean, Hancock. Who, uh, that's what. Okay, like, I didn't look up John Hancock. <laughs> okay, because I know the third one, Jaws 3D, which From we have also done. Independence? No. On this. <laughs> uh, or wait, yes, we'll just say yes. Yeah. Okay. Sure. He's had a inv- eventful life. Sure, indeed. He a came back from the one. dead to dir- like try and direct one. this movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I saw Joe Historic. Alves. Joe Alves is in the credits of this. He's a production designer in first, the first two Jaws, yes, and he, he directed was. Jaws and, 3. And second assistant director on this movie, Jaws okay, 2. Okay, so he's working his way up to yes. the reins of a Jaws movie, and finally got to do Jaws yeah. 3D. Yes. Covered on the show. We've also done Bug Jaws the Revenge. Yeah. That was Jeannot Swark, because that, that was the one where we were trying to figure out how to pronounce his name. Yes. Uh, which one's Bug. Bug was the one where it said, uh, what did it say? We are, the bu- the cockroaches yeah, making, we live, the cockroaches yeah. making the message. Right, the <laughs> yeah. yes. They'd call okay. like, yeah, they, pipes of cars right. and Their stuff asses on fire. sparked fire and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, Is that yeah. the one that the cat caught on fire or yep. something? A lot oh, of things shit. caught on fire. Yep. Yeah. yeah, okay. No cats okay. That was back in our Kingdom of the Spiders era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. that, that one good. came out in 1975, so the same year as Jaws. And this was oh. 1978? Yes. Okay. Interesting. So. 78, uh, proving to be a magical year, as, you know, we, we had a lot of stuff come out there. Halloween came out then. It's interesting. Star you, Wars. I was into, like, because my parents got married. Oh, no. <laughs> Star no, Wars okay. was 77. But it's oh, interesting that you sorry. said Halloween 
for reasons that we're probably going to have to go into on this on this podcast. I mean, probably. I mean, okay. So, um, Janos Swark. Swark. Yes. Did a lot of TV directing. Still does to this Prior? day. Prior to this, tons of any old uh, NBC show or ABC show. Um, so, I mean, same for now. He The last thing he directed was um, probably Designated Survivor with Kiefer Sutherland. Hmm. So he's still doing TV and oh, stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah. Good for him. And they said, well, Spielberg directed TV, and clearly this guy is the next Spielberg. Clearly. That's why he was hired. What? By the Xanax, <laughs> right? Yeah, uh, Richard Zanuck and uh, Dave Brown. Right, who are the, the stewards of the early Jaws movies. Yeah. It's got to be like a weird thing when you're hired to like, we want you to make your own movie, but like Steven Spielberg's film language, mm. you know, the style of that movie. Well, we want another Jaws. Yeah. It's got to look like, you know, the first Jaws. Yes. So it's he's got to go do that. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Especially after the, that whole um, um, wave of Jaws. No do you remember Supergirl? I'm aware of Supergirl. Vaguely. I think I've seen some of it. I don't know if I've watched that whole movie. Yeah. It was the uh, the the Salkinds, right? Oh, the, the, yeah, okay. The Sal- right? Yeah, because they were in charge of Superman for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But apparently, they really took a shine to Geno Swark mm. because not only did he direct Supergirl, but mm-hmm. he, he also directed Santa Claus the, the movie. movie. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that because <laughs> they did Superman the movie. Then, you know, I mean, naturally, you're going right. to the next Santa superhero Claus. you would go to yeah. is Santa, Santa. Claus. It's yeah. a big event. <laughs> Santa Claus is a movie. Is it? What kind of movie is How that? How come we have never watched is it? Is it a horror it's a movie? Canon. No, it's not. Was it canon? Did canon distribute the South Kinds? Ooh, it doesn't sound wow. right. It was maybe MGM. Okay, anyway. That sounds more reasonable. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right, so uh, <laughs> Jaws 2. Jaws 2. Um, the sequel. That scared me more than the first one. Did you see this first? I think I did. Probably on TV, like you were saying earlier. This mm-hmm. probably came into my view first, and then retroactively. I have no idea which one I saw first. I'm assuming Jaws. I'm assuming. Mm. But, yeah, I, I'd i forgotten that I just watched this, like, last year. <laughs> oh, you forgot that you watched it? I did, yeah. Oh, that doesn't, that doesn't like, bode well the, for the end of this show. I was like, show. I haven't seen this in 30 years. Like, <laughs> nope, I saw it, like, a year ago. Yeah. I forgot. As you should, yeah. Holly. I know, yeah. Because you can only watch Jaws so many times before you just like know it down pat. Yeah, and then it's you true. have to start exploring the sequels. It's true, <laughs> which is what we're here for. <laughs> yes. Well, we're gonna um, do all the sequels to yeah. this besides the first one. Well, yeah, because we've done we did Jaws: The Revenge, mm-hmm. and that was we did Jaws pick. 3D. Yeah. That was and, you. And uh, we like introed a, a like live oh, screening yeah. of Jaws. Yeah, we did at a movie fun. theater. So yeah. this um, is the forty fifth anniversary of Jaws too. Oh, Forty five oh, <laughs> years. Wow. Uh, That's crazy. We're this, up on- okay, so this actually does have a nostalgia uh, attachment to me because uh-huh. um, uh, I think I saw this one before I saw Jaws mm-hmm. on mm-hmm. the ABC Movie of the Week. Uh-huh. And uh, I this was the first uh, record album that I ever had. It was the score oh. to Jaws 2 that I found at a secondhand store. And nice. then <laughs> I also bought the novel. By oh. Hank Searles. The okay. novelization? The novelization. Or the no- okay. <laughs> but here's the thing. So there was the novelization comes out, and uh, I read it, because I think I had actually maybe read the Jaws book before I saw the movie. Mm. Sure. And I read the Jaws 2 book after I saw the movie, and the Jaws 2 novel, which is based on the screenplay, is like a whole different story. I mean, the oh, big beats are still there. It might be like the first, the part of the John Hancock original when they first started shooting this. Because when they realized that Hancock was not the director they necessarily wanted for this movie, um, I mean, they came to creative differences. Uh, Carl Gottlieb came in, and so did uh, Jeannot to the Harry Jeannot. And Jeannot said, uh, we need to turn this around. They all decided that. And he's like, let's make a big um action or big suspense scene and then while we're shooting that carl gottlieb can go away and rewrite the script and that scene was the um water skiing scene so while they were shooting that they were carl gottlieb was rewriting this entire movie so your novelization may have been based on the first draft of the script i think it was yeah. interesting the, the only which reason, i'm curious to read yeah well it turns out like i saw because you know i thought i was crazy i'm like wow they really went off you know because i guess when you're a kid you're like oh, this is the book that the movie was based on, and they changed mm. a lot of it. But then you're like, no, it's based on a script yeah. that uh, isn't the script that was used in the movie. 
and I think the, the the book came out before the movie was released. Right. And that's why, because they usually have to go off yeah. the script because mm-hmm. the movie's not done. But the Mad Magazine, right, which I used to uh, always did parodies mm. of the movies that were coming out, and their, their version is based on the original script. So if you read the Mad Magazine version, it's based, it, yeah, it's different <laughs> than the movie. Well, so now I want to like, read the book. Because I was, I was reading something. Uh, what was it? Was it uh, we were talking about a Bruno Mattei shark movie? Was it Cruel, Cruel Jaws? Jaws? Maybe yeah. is the mafia like a big deal in that one? Like the the mobsters are trying to do something on the island. It seems like in Cruel, but in anyway, Cruel, not in Cruel Jaws, but that was part of the original one. The, the Jaws two, yes, yeah, the original script for Jaws two, because the mob made its way. The mob was in the book, the first book, and Jaws as part of uh, the mayor, his involvement with them and everything. It becomes, I think, probably more prominent. In the second one, because I think Amity has hit tough times yeah. uh, in that, sure. and so yeah. he's you know the mayor's doing whatever he can to try and bring it back to life, and so he gets no, into the is, mob. That is a subgenre that really needs to be explored more as the crossover of shark movie and mafia movie, Ooh, right? Mob yeah. shark, yeah. mob shark. That I mean, you're in, you're in the East I need Coast, that. In Long Island. And- yeah. Oh yeah. I need. You, it. Can you imagine that fin going by a uh, skyline of New York City? Yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Well. Jaws Does that happen in, uh, in one of the Sharknadoes so. or something like that? Oh, this is early, in a early days of the shark like phenomenon. Jaws in Jersey. Right. Jaws 2. <laughs> Jeff, Jaws 5, Jaws in Jersey. <laughs> that would actually make sense. Which, what, what number Jaws was it in Back to the Future 2? 19. 19. And Jaws 19. Mm. Okay, we haven't gotten there. No, yet, thank not God. Quite. But we've had uh, Deep Blue Sea and Shark Knight 3D and Bait and... Uh, yeah, Meg. The Shallows and the Meg. Yeah, I was gonna the say, Meg two. and Meg we need to talk about the fact that Black. this movie Killer gives shark. you this movie gives you what the Me- what the Meg didn't give you. This gives you uh, most things that I would say most shark movies today don't. Are you saying that from nostalgia? No, I'm like, saying no, no. because I'm most saying shark movies today suck. I'm saying specifically, if you go back and listen to our Meg episode, my total beef with that movie. I mean, the movie sucked, but my biggest beef was that they set it up to have a helicopter scene that gets chomped by a shark and it never happens. Mm. This True. movie delivers Especially on Especially with a megalodon. He yeah. could have come up and got that He could that take thing? the whole thing and it would have been spectacular. There's like a helicopter hovering over the ocean for a while <laughs> and it never happened. And that's, so all, I wa- that's all I wanted Just in that two. movie. Just who gives you that? I know. I remember in some of the review, the contemporary reviews for Jaws 2, mm. like that was the moment I think where believability went out the window so for the they jumped the fonts they yeah they, <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah that's nice that's they nice. Really jumped the fonts jump the fonts yep uh because i think the idea that a shark could attack a hell it's a it's a what do you call it it has flotation devices on it the helicopter the oh the pontoons pontoons on the side for of the, the people boat, at yeah. home who haven't seen jaws too right so it can land on water right? right it's part of the harbor patrol and the shark comes up and yeah. bites the thing and sucks it down i don't see like, the book. okay I'm I'm all for it. I am here for it. I mean, did you guys see that video of that humpback whale swallowing a kayak hole? Jesus, did you see that? No, no. I will show it to you. I will show it to you. Okay. This there's two people on a That's kayak crazy. in like a bay in California, and a humpback whale comes up and literally like takes them in its mouth, like the entirety of the kayak and the two people. Jesus, into its mouth. It's like what happened to the one girl in this movie. Yeah. So I'm like, no, it can happen. Okay. I see it. All right. Sharks attacking helicopters. But I, even so, in the like. Meg, I wanted it to swallow the helicopter whole. So that would have been amazing. I still huge. believed it more in this movie than I do in, in modern shark movies. Yes. Why do modern shark movies suck, Sean, since you made that bold statement? Because they're all CGI. All of them. Anything new. Okay. And the believability does not. First of all, I think there is, and then even Jaws 2 is pushing the credibility as far as how fast a shark can swim. I, I think. I, I think it's still um, sharks are really fast. I, I right, you, uh, they're faster than I think they are. I think it's, this is a problem that maybe I just have. But when he's chasing the uh, the, uh, the skier, like that thing's on a fucking motor. But they apparently did um, uh, a test between a submarine and uh, a speedboat with a skier on it, and mm-hmm. you know, they're like the submarine was faster than a huge submarine was faster than the ski boat. So they're like, all right, I don't think we're bending cred- uh, credibility. A lot here. It's it's 
it works that the shark is that you fast. You need to watch like some air jaws to see how fast they can go. That's very <laughs> true. That's very true. I think, yeah, probably. Okay, yeah. but here's a question for you. I guess, you know, as far as like, you're like, okay, uh, CG and CG, how fast though, they travel. Because they don't, they don't, right. They don't move any, I mean, uh, watch Shark Week. And you can see how sharks act in the water and everything. And I don't think that yeah, but what, transfers I mean, to movies. But this, I don't think in, they get in, that. In Jaws 2, the shark barely moves at all. That's fine. <laughs> I've never seen sharks as, as big, great white sharks. I've never seen them as too mobile. I think it matches kind of well with the shark in this movie, personally. You don't okay. think they're mobile? You've I never don't... watched Shark Week, have you? Ever. <laughs> ever in your life. <laughs> They jump out of the water. That's, They're very mobile. That's fine. But I think... <laughs> okay. Do they spend this amount of time out of the water? I, I think that, you know, so my opinion of Jaws 2, well, I guess I'll tell you at the end. But, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it, it altered when I watched it back to back with Jaws 1. Mm. Sure. And then you're like, oh, you know, because for Do you a notice while, a big difference? You notice, so you know, yeah, it's, it's markedly different. It's like Halloween 2. You know, if you watch it on its own, you're like, this is pretty good. And then you watch like them back to back. You're like, yeah, there's a definite come down in quality. That, that is a great equal. thing happens Jaws here. and Jaws 2. Yeah, Halloween, and Halloween, and Halloween, and Halloween 2. Yeah. Um, but itself, I love Halloween you know, when you watch it, sure, yeah. I think it's a different experience. So I'm warning you, don't watch your favorite, you know, movies back, you know, in their sequels back to back. Right. Um, but this one, mm-hmm. there's a lot of shark. POV above the water. This is a slasher movie. Kind of. uh, there's a lot of shark above the water. Mm-hmm. A lot of shark above shark. the water. Yeah. Yeah. The shark spends an awful lot of time, like like half his body above the water, yeah. like for, like lengthwise. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I guess this is the thing that Spielberg, you know, said wasn't he, like his would have probably had this, but the fucking if thing kept worked. on breaking, <laughs> right? And so he had to come. And so the only reason that. <laughs> That Jaws is as awesome as it is and scary as it is, is because his shark didn't Bruce work. Bruce wasn't working half the time, yeah. But Bruce was working just fine in Jaws 2, mm-hmm. he was. so they got the mileage out of it. They had the camera on that thing all the time, and Plus, apparently they can't put the camera underwater mm-hmm. because you'd see like it's only so much of a shark. Right, and different mm-hmm. elements. So the but, shark comes up out of the water all But the going yeah. into this movie, I mean, it's Jaws 2. You know everyone knew what Jaws was at this point, so mm-hmm. their mentality going into this is like, we need to show the shark, and we need to show it a lot, mm-hmm. because we know there's a shark in this, yeah. and we know it's going to be attacking people. So let's make that an mm-hmm. exciting element of this movie. Let's make, well, him, I mean, it, let's make him a killer. It, you know, I mean, I'm saying it's kind of immobile, but, you know, it, it does... It's taking corners, man. Yeah, it's yeah no, I mean, there's there's several moments in this where the shark literally like sneaks up on people. Yeah, and it's yeah. jump scares. Yeah. There's jump scares. Yeah. Yes. Okay, because as Sean said, this is a slasher movie. I was gonna say movie. we this need to go back movie. to what Sean said and explore this a little bit. What yeah. do you mean this this movie is a slasher? It's a slasher movie. It starts. Yeah. I mean, we have look at all the elements it's got. It's got uh, well, it's got your teenagers. Right, yep. your group of friends and sure. everything. Yep. Sure. Um, we've replaced certain things like they're not cruising in cars and all that stuff. We've replaced those with boats because sure. this is American graffiti. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is we're tracking the evolution of the slasher movie every episode because that's the yeah. pinnacle of American film. Mm-hmm. To, I okay, mean, to many. So, people, yes. <laughs> um, but we get like shark, like we were talking about shark POV, mm-hmm. like as like Jason, like, yeah, yeah or sure. uh, Michael, sure. Michael as Myers, well. Right. So we're following okay. that around. Um, I mean, there's like suspense scenes which are sh- like set up like uh, a killer tracking their victim. Mm-hmm. Here's the point. You, yeah, you get the scene where you're introduced to the victim in this scene alone. The divers, right? Mm-hmm. It's like you know, they're not a part of the movie. This is just like victim, victim cam, right? Mm-hmm. right? Or earlier on, when uh, Tina and uh, Eddie when they get attacked, that's a whole. That's thing very as much well. a slasher. That's movie very scene. much a slasher moment. Yep. You know? mm-hmm. So all these, I think, all these elements in this. Yeah. No, I think you got a bingo. Yeah, yeah. and I think it's, I yeah. think it's, um, maybe widely, but I think it's known that those elements are in this. I'm not mm-hmm. saying anything that hasn't been said before. Right. No, but no, um, but there was. I that's think... why I think this is. Um, I, I like the difference from the first one mm-hmm. and that what this embraces in that regard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had that sensation that that time that I watched it last. Okay. Uh, it was like, huh. This is like a slash. I mean, like the yeah. setup and payoffs mm-hmm. are all like slasher movies. So Jaws, we have a monster movie, and Jaws two, we've got a slasher movie. Yeah, right. because it's, it's still like- a monster movie because we get scarred, you know, yeah, uh, scarred villain. That was and everything. part of it. I was like, they did the scarred villain, yeah, the, the which I love. 
Fantastic. Great. It's half burns. Fantastic. It's got like half burns on one side. That's You're like, great. Look at it. It's out for revenge. <laughs> For yeah. the yeah. the incident, the inciting incident, which mm-hmm. has happened in the last movie, <laughs> right? Even Roy like, Scheider's just like, do you think for- if one gets destroyed, another one could come in and take? Re- Sharks don't take things personal, yeah, Mr. Brody. So instead of the woods, don't it's they? the ocean, <laughs> yeah. right? And uh, yeah, you got your your yeah. Disfigured- it's not the woods. Like the ocean is the woods yeah. in this one, and he's yeah. stalking and them. And a disfigured and killer mm-hmm. is wandering around, just killing everybody who yep. he comes in contact with. Yep. Which you go and you go like, you know, we're giving too much credit to the American slasher movie by saying like. Oh, it was the Italian Giallo mm-hmm. that inspired them? And I'm like, you know, it might have been Jaws too, <laughs> you know, because uh, <laughs> you just replaced, you know, the ocean with the woods and Jason with a shark. I mean, this is a Friday the Thirteenth. And movie. even even uh, a Buster Rhymes would tell you that Michael Myers is a shark. Yeah, they're just so, yeah. so that thing. <laughs> so that thing is a killer shark. There's so that a, theme. Goes and through. at the end of this, a, uh, a power line mm. comes into play in much the same way it does in, in Friday the 13th, sure. part eight, and, Jason takes man And in strays. But <laughs> right, that's a whole different thing. <laughs> All right. So I guess, uh, so Gottlieb wrote the first one. No, Gottlieb right? was doing the rewrites. Doing the re- uh, there, he's listed in this. Um, he worked on the script for the, fr- I forgot his name. He worked on the script for the first one, and then he wrote that original draft for this one and okay. then Carl came in and rewrote it when they were when they fired Hancock and had to redo it and then mm-hmm. uh and then hired yeah, it was like Howard Sackler and Dorothy yeah, yeah. somebody That's, it's Howard Sackler, yes. Okay. Um all right, so how are you going to follow up because Jaws doesn't feel like a slasher movie. No. No I would say it's not. Mm-mm. Yeah. Um yeah, it's like a drama. It's a thriller. It's a suspense movie. It's more like an mm-hmm. Alfred Hitchcock movie. No, it's not even. No. There's elements of that in there, but yeah, it's like an adventure movie in the second half. It's a, for bl- sure. like, it's a blockbuster. Yeah. Like, I think you can. I think if you call Jaws that, people will. You think of Jaws, and you're like, yeah, that makes sense. Because mm-hmm. it's hard to pin that one down to just one single thing. Right. I think it's a crossover of multiple genres. It's a lot of stuff. Yeah. It's a hard act to follow. Yeah, also, I definitely. Suppose, like, it's in a league all of its own. Yeah. Yeah. It's like making a sequel to Psycho. No one would ever do. Oh, they did. Oh, so, uh, or a sequel uh, to well, we like the sequel to Psycho. I, didn't I, it? Psycho I, it's a good good. Yeah, it's a good it's movie. Yeah, it's a good movie. It's a good movie. Um, okay, so how do we solve the problem of, well, they killed the shark in Jaws, and what, uh, what are you going to do? It's got to be another shark. This is years <laughs> later. <laughs> <laughs> Because sharks do take things personally, but I mean, we start. That's only in the fourth one, I Sean. Mean, that, that, I this think time we're it's building personal. to that. Yeah, um, okay. they got to it late, <laughs> um, but uh, it's uh, a few years later. We come back to uh, many characters we've known from the first movie. We've got Roy Scheider is back as Chief Brody. Yeah, uh, Elaine Gary is back as his wife. Jeff Kramer is the um, deputy. Hendricks. Jeff Hendricks. Yep. yep. Um, uh, Murray Hamilton. Murray Hamilton's uh, back as the mayor. I don't know how. Uh, he must have spent a lot of money in that re-election bit. There's where the mob comes in yeah. yep. to get him re-elected. Great. I love it. Um, there's a few supporting characters that are back as well. Um, heads of business, the one lady who is in the first one, this one, and Jaws the Revenge. Yeah, Bad Hat Harry. Bad Hat Harry's back in this. Yeah, because they filmed this in Martha's Vineyard. I mean, I'm they filmed not... it. Actually, they filmed most of it in Florida. But what? they had they did most of it's Holy in Florida, but that's crap. all the ocean stuff. Oh. They did go back to Martha's Vineyard for the scenes you see in this movie. So okay. we are back where we were with mm-hmm. Jaws, which helps. I think, you know, if we were doing this in a completely different location, it'd be a little harder to digest, I think. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we are it back feels with... part of the same universe. Yes. The first, where Jaws 3D does not. No. You know, Correct. It's like, yeah. They are like, it's the Brody kids growing up in Jaws 3D, and they go to Florida to SeaWorld, and it's like, right. oh, okay, whatever. That's when, that's when detours. This one yeah. still feels part of, again, mm-hmm. a good uh, Halloween 2 is just kind of a great uh, equal to this, mm-hmm. I think. Yeah. So we're still in that area, which is you know, which makes this feel mm-hmm. like a legitimate sequel to Jaws. It does, I would say. It's it just helps. missing. You know, I think when you go back and watch them back to back, the 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 weight that Matt Hooper, you know, Richard Dreyfuss, yep. mm-hmm. and Robert Shaw as Quint yeah. add to that movie is like enormous. Yes. Yeah, you know, 100%. like you can watch this movie on its own, like we did tonight, and it's like, no, Roy Scheider's like pretty good. Yeah. yeah, you know, and he is pre- he is good. Yeah. He's really good, uh, both in this and in, in Jaws. Yes. But watching them back to back, you're like, oh, this one really misses having those that yeah. you know those guys. Right. Like the, the gravitas they bring, the, <laughs> oh the God, serious yes. they bring, the seriousness they bring to it, especially yeah. you know uh, Robert Shaw and everything. But the yeah. seriousness they bring to it, um, Roy Scheider was not happy to be coming back. 
to really? do this movie. No, he did not want to do this movie. He tried to get out of it a lot, apparently. Um, he was in uh, The Deer Hunter, but he left that project. And as he had a three-picture deal with Universal at that point. And they decided, like, we'll forgive you for, for just ditching Deer Hunter if you do Jaws 2. And that'll be the second and third movies of your contract. And then wow. you'll be out of it. I wonder he did he... not want to come back for this. So they said. Um, they said he was once he got into it. He was, you know, a, a good. To, yeah, no, an he's actor good. good. He is yeah, good. Yeah, he is good. Despite how he feels about it, he came up as an actor and fucking nailed it for this yeah. one. Because mm -hmm. you think about Roy Scheider movies, and I, you know, like he's a '70s actor to me. Yeah. Like I do remember him in some stuff from like the '80s or the '90s as All bit that parts. Well, that, that was eight. 80, 80? I think it was 80 something. Yeah. yeah. Keith Gordon's in that movie too. Um, Keith Gordon's in this movie. He but, is. you know, Sorcerer. Anybody, you guys seen Sorcerer? William Friedkin Sorcerer. I don't it's think a so. Fucking great movie. That's the one where they got to take the trucks with the nitroglycerin over the Amazon. Oh, why is I it know Sorcerer? that movie. Yeah. Uh, is there yep. a Sorcerer in it? Nope. Well, then why is it called Sorcerer? Uh, yep. Oh, I wow. Remember if there's a, I think one of the trucks is called Sorcerer. Like they. Maybe it's like Sorcerer. Project Sorcerer or something yeah. like that. That's a mislead, yeah. but okay. No, I'm it's, interested. A, it's a great movie, but it opened the same day as Star Wars. And that's probably oh, why. Oh, yeah. It's that's getting sad. a lot of like reappreciation now, but Roy okay. Scheider's okay. a lead in that. Um, the French Connection, obviously, yes. he was uh, um, the, the partner of Popeye Doyle. Mm -hmm. And j the two Jaws movies. I mean, that's those are the, and uh, all that jazz, right? Yep. Those and, are the I mean, movies. I was yeah. like, that in and of itself, that's a great career. Yeah. And RKO 281, but that's just impersonal. Yeah, no, I mean, I remember, I like uh, yeah. So, um, so the movie, we're still, Chief Brody is still Chief Brody. Yep. Right? The movie starts with a pair of divers going down to the orca, the wreck of the orca. Yep. And they're attacked by a shark. Uh, but they're taking a bunch of pictures, and that's going to come in uh later on yes. so life is idyllic on amity island all these years later and things they've just opened booming. up a hotel a holiday a holiday inn, inn which has got to be a big thing for them as proven by the spread of their <laughs> uh, of the party and that everything party had a great spread really yeah. did that would, that would have been fun holiday inns i think were a big deal back in they the were they were that was the first thing we had here i think it was a holiday Ooh, holiday right inn. holiday inn um it was a ramada first uh that's damn it. That's what it was. <laughs> I was trying. I was asking people. And they're like, How, "Okay, let's sidebar." Yeah. Um. So, uh, but thank you for remembering that. I'm gonna no go make a change. Something. <laughs> um, Again, our collegiate. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um. So, uh, Mrs. Brody uh -huh. is in real estate. I'm not sure if that was made explicit in the first movie, which she did, but this time Ooh. we get she is part of the uh the group that has yeah. opened this new mm -hmm. uh attraction and they're trying to get mm -hmm. investors into the town of yeah. Yeah. and so there's a new character which it's i think is hard to peg what she does though because the way she's treated they act like she's like an assistant yeah she so is i think she's more Im i don't want to say important but she's got a higher title than that but a higher title than that and more to do than yeah. what is kind of portrayed as like make sure they're comfortable. Like yeah. she's it's very much like this is my secretary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, she's But I think she's a higher title than that. Yeah, yeah. no, I think cuz he says it's something like, you know, she is she's responsible for all this. So I don't know. What would Len, I do without her? He this says. new guy Len is the money man and he's in He literally with, delivers a money tree. Yeah. for the opening ceremonies of this holiday inn. Yeah. <laughs> so he's going to be the Fucking slimy bastard. guy who him and the mayor are basically like uh we're trying to bring people here. We want it to all go smooth sailing. It's going to mm -hmm. be great. Mm -hmm. This smooth is the greatest. Sailing. Yeah. And and there's a little bit of uh, a triangle between I mean Chief Brody doesn't like him because, I mean, obviously he's a little too close to his wife. Yeah. Oh, and, there's uh, there's friction. Oh, you know, yeah. there's definitely yeah. friction. There's definitely tension there. He's kind of a, a money loving. He's like, I don't know what I'd do without her. He's like, me neither. Me neither, because yeah. she's my <laughs> wife. <laughs> um, I want to see them fight. Yeah. Right. That would have been good. <laughs> and the Brody kids have grown up. That's Mike and Sean. Yeah. Uh, yes. Maybe that's why I was so traumatized by this movie at a certain point. Why this one scares me more than the first one? Because there's a lot of yelling at Sean. In this movie, <laughs> and I think that hit me. You triggered in the subconscious. Sean, god damn it! <laughs> yeah, you grab this road. You I'm grab this fucking. Break road. your ass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or you're gonna eat my shot. <laughs> <laughs> um, main impression. And uh, there's a, so Keith Gordon, uh, yes. the, the now director, former actor, mm -hmm. who is probably most famous for Christine. Yes, mm -hmm. right? he's on the wall. 
Yeah. This one will put them on the wall. Because we had uh, Christine and mm-hmm. we also did. What the fuck else was he in? Um, mm. We did another one. We did Dress to Kill. Dress to Kill. Yep. That's it. You're yeah. right. Wow. Keith Gordon, is, Keith on Gordon the is on the wall. Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame. Wow. There you hey, go. Look at that. Father of Corey Cunningham. <laughs> 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 From Halloween Ends. For playing Arnie Cunningham. Yes. Christine. Um, okay. And then uh, there's also. Well, Corey Cunningham's a mechanic. Maybe. He had an affair with the car, and their child was Corey Cunningham, and that's why he works in a shop fixing cars. And all. You ever seen that movie? At this yeah. point, I believe it. There we Titan. Go. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. <laughs> you say that. Uh, yeah, that woman fucks a car. And gets yeah, pregnant. yeah, and there's a yeah. What? That woman <laughs> fucks a car. And it's gets a side. Pregnant. It's a side <laughs> sequel to this, which led to Corey Cunningham. <laughs> it's the French, Holly. The French it, are the different French. than us. She, yeah, oh, okay. French. <laughs> yeah. The, the French can be kind of French. Uh, what was yeah. the Iron Man movie? The uh, what's Tetsuo? Tetsuo. Yeah. Oh, uh, the Japanese. They're they're, they're like also weird. Yeah. 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 Um, so uh, there's um oh and uh, yeah so among the 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 teens right uh, Donna yes. Wilkes Donna Wilkes. From Angel. Angel, mm-hmm. right before she was Angel, is in, mm-hmm. in this movie. Yes. Uh, she gets a lot of screen time. A she lot. gets. I mean, they're like, we need someone to scream their head off hysterically. Yeah, but Who's I, the best? I just wonder, like, the way that she was featured, to me, told me that, like, at some point Purposeful. during the production, the director was like, okay, or the editor was like, we're, we're going to take all of her shots, because she's, like, trying to, like, steal this. Maybe that was it. She <laughs> learned, like, Okay, I can steal this by just being the most like flipped out. You know, the camera yeah. will look at me if I, if I flip out. I was wondering if there was some sort of like representation. Like, was, were they trying to make her a rising star? Was that the whole thing? Did she have a contract? Maybe they just recognized. Like, well, I mean, it's possible. But maybe they just they wanted to recognize what she was able to do. And they're just maybe. like, all right, we'll elevate that. Yeah. But could be. Who knows? Maybe huh. it's like, we got a, we got a young new ingenue coming in. Put yeah. the camera on her. Yeah, and it's that's, that's the mob <laughs> talking. Love it. Love it. Um, <laughs> honey, don't worry. We're gonna make you a big star. Just sit back and scream. So there's gonna be like uh, there's gonna be like two halves of the movie, right? Yeah. Uh, the the first half is gonna deal with Chief Brody and and uh, his dawning realization right. that yes, there is a second shark. As impossible as that sounds. Mm. A second shark is coming. In the ocean? What is the ocean? What? Impossible? Yeah. <laughs> Probable. Well, what's his first hint that uh, things might be uh, 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 going south? Is it the is it the explosion with the skier? Is that the first oh. one? Or is it... We have a diver. Oh, I think they right. found... Oh, the first thing, technically... There's a is missing they, diver. There's there's the boat that they find yeah. because the divers at the beginning of the movie yeah. have been killed, and they're just like some rich dudes in this abandoned boat and everything, yeah. and they... Uh, divers well, found a camera they're missing they're just they're missing, missing. They're missing right. yes but they found a camera at the yeah. bottom of the thing and you know, so that's a whole thing not he didn't really like look at it as be like he'll like put that together later yeah, and yeah. everything and I then think the, the second was the water skier yes was the, the water boat. skier in that whole incident with, where there was an explosion explodes. yes He's which is which is, which that's is a fanta- great scene. it's a fantastic great scene because the driver of the boat she like <laughs> she's she, <laughs> The shark hits the boat and her first reaction is pick up the can of gasoline and try to like put it over her head so yeah. that it like spills all down. I don't know what she was planning to I, do she with may that. Have been I think the boat the... rocked. Like yes. she, it fell back and she was like, I'm going to throw it at it. But the boat. Oh, she was going to throw it at it. She was either going to yeah. throw it or hit the shark okay. with it. Or I, she was it all okay. over it. Right. I don't think she was going for spilling. Yeah. I think she was trying to hit it. No, but the I, cap was off. I knew she wasn't like trying to spill, right. but I was like, why did she even grab it? But <laughs> that as makes soon sense. as she grabs it all over herself, she just douses herself. Right. And then there's a flare gun and then she shoots the boat. There is fire. The yeah. shark pulls away, and half of his face is in flame. This, is, this is the same he's now origin two-faced. as Two Face. He's now yeah. Two Face. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah. Fantastic. yeah. Two-faced. it's fantastic. It's fantastic. In the birding. Okay. Well, yeah. Um, I'll go Two Face. But like, and then- just, yeah, no, I, I like it. I like the Two, two Face is on point. It's on theme with our mob theory. Yes. And oh, yeah, I just yeah. I want this to keep becoming okay. a mob. That's a mob shark. So, yeah. A mob shark. Yeah, this is two face. But then it. boom, explosion. So yeah. the the skier gets eaten, and the driver gets blown up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but still, they're like, Meh. although it's a boating accident. That kind of like, well, there might be something going on there. Chief Brody begins to suspect as he zones in on mm-hmm. the ocean and doesn't hear people talking. Chief Brody, right. Chief Brody. Because at this point, they're like, well, there was an explosion. You're not going to blame that yeah. on a shark, right? Right. Away. Right. You know. Um, but he really gets the the fire once the, um, the washed whale. up orca. Yeah. Yep. 
Because yeah. he's like, that you gotta check the bite ra- the bite radius. He's an expert now. Well, he is. I mean, yeah. I guess that's the thing. It's they like you're goddamn him, right yeah. he is. <laughs> um I'm wondering what the reaction I always I'm always curious about curious about this because nobody at the end of Jaws, nobody knows what happened out there besides Brody and at least uh, th- thankfully he's got Hooper. To yeah. back him up on the story yeah. and everything, and Quinn's yeah. obviously dead and everything, and then go check the wreckage. So at least I didn't know that's true. But how much? I mean, like, who knows how much of that they believe? Obviously, he's still chief of police three years later. So, mm-hmm. but that he's got the 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 flotation device that he came back on. He like, does the, the yellow barrel is sitting out front of his house yeah. as as a as a planter, planter yeah. at that point. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, who, yeah, who knows? Um, but he's yeah, he's a little eccentric with his but well, you per, policing. Like, uh, understandably, understandably so. Understandably so, I think. Maybe not so much when he runs up, across the beach waving his gun around. Well, definitely not. The Maybe higher ups would that. rather not revisit any of that. And I think sure. Chief Brody is just a big reminder of what happened, which they would rather not think about because right. obviously that would mean dire situations for their small town right. yeah. and that needs summer dollars. And they should fuck off because he saved the town. Yes, so. truly. Well, I guess that's the thing, like, if he's right. I mean, that's the whole idea of this movie, right? It's the not the boy who called it Wolf. It's the Cassandra, right? It's yeah. like, I know that there's something right. horrible is going to happen. Yeah. I'm trying to tell everyone, mm-hmm. and no one will listen to me. And so here's our scream and scream comparison. <laughs> that adds that kind of frustration that you feel for the characters, like, oh, well, we know there's a shark. Right. right. We love Brody. We know there's a shark. Yeah. Why are you being mean Why to him? Won't he's they listen right. To him? But, I mean, these characters are not, like... They're not like evil. No, right? I mean, they're no. Because even the, the guy like, minded and but we don't like the businessman because he's like, well, he's 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 getting close to Brody's wife. But right. it's not really terribly inappropriate. He's you know, I mean, it reads kind of like he could be, but he doesn't do anything overtly sleazy or awful to make him a horrible person. I agree. He's actually acting within the you know the interest of this like i'm we're bringing how'd that go last time colin (laughs) yeah and brody does sound crazy he does and he he really does look crazy when he's screaming at everyone to get out of the water and that's that's, all the serious stuff comes after that moment which which dulls any uh uh any you know um, like you're any believability of, to what you're he's a chief saying. Chief of police, you don't go waving your gun around in front of people, right? So well, you freaked he out a little too early, chief. He starts like and uh, then shooting at the water. Yeah, right. it's a it's a good scene where you're like you just uh, you just uh, turn in your That's badge it. like yeah. right after that. Uh, yeah. So yeah, he he does go talk to the mayor first because mm-hmm. he's like we got a shark, we got to do something, and they're like don't push it this time. Mm-hmm. You know. Like, uh, if you do, uh, you know, it's, yeah, it's uh, like, it's, uh, it's you bad know, for I, you. Yeah. <laughs> and I did get the impression that the mayor was actually, like, not entirely, like, he's still, he's the mayor, sympathetic. The mayor's sympathetic, Brody. yeah. There yeah. is yes. a deleted scene where they actually take the vote on what they should do with Chief Brody. Oh, oh. He's everyone, the everyone, he's the one who's on Brody's side. Yeah. Oh, he's the only I one. I like that. Yeah, right? It is a nice sympathetic note. Because yeah. that's an interesting way to read those scenes before that, because yeah. it kind of makes him out to, well, it's like a villainous character trait, right? He's got it in for Brody the whole time. Mm. But if you know that he's the one who's still giving him the benefit of the doubt, yeah. or I don't know if it's the benefit of the doubt, but like I've been through a history with this guy, it then it says like, well, he's under pressure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, these other people are leaning on the mayor to go this way. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. There's yeah, a lot on a, the line. They yeah. got new businesses and housing going up and everything. Yep. Can't afford to let that go. Yeah. Well, Brody uh, gets his uh, evidence. Oh, yeah. Uh, he has... Um, the underwater camera. Yeah, the camera. He has the film developed. Um, the divers. And he's told, hey, the orc is on this. Come in. We'll, uh, we'll look at the other pictures. And I like this scene because it's in a dark room with the red light and everything right. and they're developing it and slowly an image comes into play and you're like am I is this what I'm seeing like what because it's 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 vague but there mm-hmm. yeah because like you could you look at it and you see everything he tells you that's there yeah but yeah. It, it is also like a very close up shot of they a shark. totally ripped this off an alligator didn't they because remember alligator the guy was like took all the pictures and then like like, that's an alligator (laughs) although i think an alligator goes the other way they're like yep there is there's an alligator (laughs) which is why that movie like (laughs) right right everyone's going for alligator and robert force is like it's got to be something else no no he's like it's an alligator in this because his partner was eaten by the he was yes oh yeah yeah. but he was showing the picture around at some point like um (laughs) 
But in this one, they're like, well, it could be seaweed. Yeah. Seaweed? Uh, Thanks, we don't ben. know what it is. Did you see that eye? Yeah. So, yeah. So and we're like, okay, so there's a creepy looking. I always wonder how the, the, the production designers get those photos. I'm like, they had to be shooting with the, you know, the shark model or something. It took a yeah. bunch of them and they're like, this is the one that looks the most abstract. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, there is a, like, he does find um, the body of the uh the 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 burned woman on the um, on the boat the boat the driver mm-hmm. because there's like a piece of driftwood and he goes up there right. I remember that scared the shit out of me when I was a kid when I first saw this yeah it's a nice little open. nice little jump scare yeah yeah jump scares we keep going back to the jump well, I mean the first one had jump scares too I guess yeah but not in not like on par with this yeah and kind of what you expect in a this feels more a like a slasher movie, movie. Slasher. It, does, yeah. Yeah, it does it's got that pacing that tone that kind of yep um. Uh, even you were saying the John Williams score sounds a little bit more Friday. <laughs> a little more Harry Manfredini. It's a little more dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Yeah. It's still got those elements and, you know, the mm-hmm. themes of, of obviously the score from the first one, but mm-hmm. it is, uh, amped up a little bit. There's, uh, a, a, a little bit of time given to, um, Brody, um, once he's like, there's a shark, uh, goes and gets hollow point bullets and he puts uh, sodium cyanide, uh, cyanide mm-hmm. in them and, and seals it with wax. Yeah. And mm-hmm. Hendrix is like, what do you got over there? And, and he takes him home and he's got to hide him from his wife. And you're like, why is he hiding him from everybody? Is this illegal? Maybe I don't know. Like, you're not supposed to have sonium cyanide. Where'd he get it? I don't think. What's he doing? Personally, I don't think anyone would know what he was doing, even if he showed it to them. Yeah. I, but they make like a, such a focus on they this. They do. It's like, if anyone sees me messing with bullets, I'm like, you're a cop. You should be fine. Yeah. That was my question too. I was like, do audiences know what but this maybe is? <laughs> this is such a maybe it's such a thing i don't think he normally carries a gun chief brody i think that's the thing is that he doesn't normally have a gun on him in this town i don't think he does okay i don't mm-hmm. think but so and he's preparing to like wear one all the time at this point i think there'd be questions as to why you have your gun out oh that's what, what, it is? Are, what are you doing with your gun well you then why don't, don't they just have him loading a gun i don't know yeah, because I I was I read it. They're very specific with the type of bullets that he's. Right. Using, oh no, so. I agree. This is the only answer. That's I why. Have. I, okay. Yeah, no, because I'm like I don't know how this reads. Yeah, I don't know it's, if we're it's supposed a weird to one. know it's what this weird is. Weird that they spend so much time on it without any kind of payoff, because assumedly, if that's a word, they <laughs> the, those are the bullets that he expends. Yeah. on the beach when he's like, get out of the water. He sees a school of bluefish, apparently. Yeah. But to us, it looks like a big shadow of a shark. Sure. And they're swimmers. And he wants to protect them all. And he unloads. Yeah, and he rings the bell. He causes yeah. the panic. He causes the while, panic on while a public the, beach. the investors are being shown around. Right. Like, Always at the worst this one, buddy. Yep. Yeah. And even the, they, the town council's like, well, let, why don't you go have a seat over there? And we'll, and we'll uh, uh, make up our own mind. Yeah. Ouch. So yeah. he's fired. 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 He's never coming back from this. And Hendrix has made the sheriff. Whereas you're like, <laughs> okay. But somebody actually has the authority here. And it's Chief Brody the next morning. Because it turns out Mike and Sean mm. have gone off and disobeyed their parents. Very willful children. Mm-hmm. They've gone off and gone and taken they, part of a regatta. I mean, they're going sailing. Okay, they're going sailing yeah, with yeah. a bunch of their friends. And yep. this begins the second part of the movie. That's what teens do teen in slasher movie. Amity yeah, Island. They sailing. all they all have their own sailboat. Sailing every day. What else are you gonna do? The first victims um are Eddie Eddie and Tina. Eddie and Tina. Tina yeah. is Miss Amity, if yes. I remember correctly. Who mm-hmm. cuts the ribbon at the, uh, mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. celebration at the beginning? Mm-hmm. In a bathing suit. Inexplicably in, in a bathing suit. At a cocktail because party. It's a beauty I understand. Yeah. It's I'm not saying 70s. it's right. It's the Beauty 70s. pageants have evening wear too. Yeah. Yeah. But, but it's, a water, it's a cocktail party. Yeah. It's a water theme. But she's no. near a pool. Nope. And they're yeah. on an island. Everyone's wearing <laughs> cocktail attire. Yeah. All right, then. I'm still. Uh, okay. So, uh, <laughs> the. the um, Anyway, they, this is like the this was the moment that I I remembered from this movie, mm. uh, because just the way it happens, mm. uh, it's, shark- very, it's very it, it feels like a throwback to the opening of Jaws, as far as l- what happens to the Eddie character because yeah. they're hanging out, they're behind the rest of the party who is sailing ahead of them, and they're gonna hang yeah. out for some sexy time. Yeah, uh, but she needs a blanket, and so he goes against that, and then 
Well, should we name this shark? Because the first one was Bruce. Isn't this Bruce yeah. too? Are we doing Bruce too? Is it still Bruce? Scarface okay. comes up and hits their boat and knocks him over, yeah. and he's in the water. And so we're, we're yeah, Tina's in the middle, and we got Eddie in the water on one side, and the shark on the other side. And it's like swim, Eddie, swim. Mm -hmm. And he eventually gets caught by the shark, and then um, in a, a very cool moment, I think, yeah, you know, like he's in the jaws, and he gets rushed up to the to the boat he was in and slammed in, in, into it and then he's struggling to get up and part of the boat breaks off as he's taken under and eaten. Yeah, um, it's it's a, rough. It's a rough, yeah, it's yeah. it would be, I understand her reaction to all of this and her the yeah. aftermath that Tina has she's being totally freaked full out. Full on traumatized. Because, yeah, that's a basically is, comatose. Yeah, she's, I, I, yeah. I like this actress's performance yes. as yeah. one of the best manifestations of like uh just total terror terror yeah. fear yeah, yeah. she terror, got it fear like she, i believe that yeah she's fucked up like she, yeah she, 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 sure you yeah. know what i mean yeah. it was like her, holy fuck yeah she's like a different shade of white when yeah. You find mm -hmm. her. yeah 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 yeah, yeah. she's it's really good. good it's a good performance I wonder if Donna Wilkes saw that and was like, I'm going to try and do that <laughs> yeah. by the end because she's doing the I'm gonna try to do it, chatter louder. and all that stuff later. Yeah. Um, that may be involuntary. Who knows how cold yeah. it was. I was going to say they're probably actually cold. Probably freezing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the thing, directors, what you got to do is you got to, you got to, if you want shock and fear, uh, have your actors sit on an ice cube. Uh, while they uh, they just deliver. one, just yeah, one, just one just a cube. big a, right a, ice the block, ice block. Okay, how about that? Sorry, <laughs> put, put a big cube down your ice. pants. Act yeah. terrified, you'll be right. Yeah, and then get the shiver going. Um, yeah. Shark continues outward. Brody is in pursuit because mm -hmm. uh, they're all headed to Cable Junction. Yes, they were supposed to go to a lighthouse. Yeah, but they're, they're like, like I know a better Junction. place, and they yeah. go and start to go beyond that, and then. They are attacked. Um, it's amazing that this shark in this one scene decimates the entire. <laughs> I mean, the, like it just goes from bad to worse. Yeah. You know what else was big in the seventies? Hmm. The disaster movie. Oh, like yeah, right sure, around this sure. time, it was on airplane, uh, airport, airport, and uh, earthquake, yes. and the towering inferno, yes. avalanche, yeah. airplane, airport two. Yes, there were like five airport airports. Three. There yeah. are there's like five airports. Well, a lot of them. Airport nineteen seventy five. Yeah. yeah. Um, Poseidon. This was a disaster. The Poseidon right? adventure. Yeah. Right. Yep. Because um, that shark rip, rips their like it's a calamity of of what happens with all of their boats because they're all together and they get attacked, but then everybody's running into each other and you know the this boat gets disabled, this boat gets tipped over, mm -hmm. uh, people get knocked in the head and ended up in the water, and um and and that's what happens to Mike's character, I believe. Like he gets nailed in the head and falls in, and this this is one of my uh, kind of favorite moments. Just the combination of like um, uh, the suspense, the music, and everything coming up here. Mike's in the water, and there's only one boat that's a, like active and still able to sail at this point. And they got to get him out of the water because the shark's coming and everything. Mm -hmm. And so there's a whole struggle because he's knocked unconscious to get him in the boat. And the shark's coming, and we get that big open jaws. It side swipes the oh, yeah. boat mm -hmm. just as they're pulling his legs in. Yeah. And then they the, um, they said it took him like uh, the whole day to like get the one shot because you got to line it up perfectly. Right. Yeah. yeah. And, and when you're few, in the water and things right. are moving around. Well, and there were a few different sharks they used for this because they have the shark on the kind of crane mechanism that would go, but they also had a pull shark. So there's a shark at the end of uh, an apparatus that a boat would pull. To go through the water. So they uh -huh. had to wait for like that boat to get out of view before they could use any of the shots. Sure, and yeah. And it's harder to line that up. It's hard to get that you, timing right. right. Yeah, for sure. It. So it took them forever to get it. Same thing with a later on death. But yeah, that's a good moment right there. Mm -hmm. Nice attack moment. It was a good Mike. suspense moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they get away. They're like, go and you know, <laughs> tell the world. <laughs> 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 go to the lighthouse and stay there. Well, Brody's out there, right? You know, I mean. Yeah, uh, he's taking the launch. Yeah, and with, he's going to go rescue him. I mean, his single-mindedness, I guess, like, works. He is also a shark. Yeah, um, but he, he's playing it. It's the same in both, like, I'm going to run head first down the beach, waving my gun around to kill this fucking thing. Yeah. Uh, as he is, like, as soon as he hears it, his son's on the, it's like, he's just like, he's I'm gone. going. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I think any dad would. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, I yeah. think that's the, the cool thing about his character, and, like, this guy just plunges right into and this headlong. Is, right. The guy who hates the water. Yeah. Hates Which the water. Which is great he, about it because he's like, don't give me that shit. Just point. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I do love his just like, yeah, because Hendrix is trying to give him directions. Like, just make it simple and I can do this. Because he's not, he's not a boatman. 
Yeah. I think that's relatable to everybody watching the movie. Yeah. It was like, you know, not like this guy lives on an island, but I guess the first movie established. It's only you know, an island if you look at it from the water. <laughs> <laughs> Knows nothing about boats or anything. No. So it's like he's just out there going like, uh, okay. Yeah, I'll handle the on land crime. <laughs> Hendrix, you get the rest of it. Because they got a new launch apparently, and Hendrix is all obsessed with it. Oh, yeah. He's just living, like, he's taking his regular time and going out there and messing with the boat. So he's having a good time. Yeah. Right. He's like, you do that. I'll, I'll handle all this. I mean, shit I guess here. I know how the movie's got to go, you know, because Hendrix does go with and so does uh, Ellen Brody yes. uh, initially until but they like find. We, like we talked about during watching this movie, is we love that a, a great representation of parenting in the 70s. They have no idea that both of their sons are out there. <laughs> well, there's one kid, and they're just like, ah, I guess they're gone. That's it. Yeah. I guess yeah. they're out I of guess the house he's out doing playing. things. Sure. Ugh. That's no, he, it. What, your son wandered down the beach and drowned because he can't swim, and you're just yeah. like, yeah, he's probably no. playing somewhere. Like, yeah, playing. Uh, no, I mean, sure, fine. I mean, in the first one, they woke up and they were out playing in their little boat. Like, what? He's in the water. Yeah. What did he yell at him? Like, he's still yeah. tied to the dock. By the end of this movie, Mrs. Brody still doesn't know both of her sons <laughs> are out in the water. That's true. Yeah, because it, yeah, right. Because uh, yeah. Uh, they know Mike is out there. Because Hendrix saw them go out. Right. Well, saw Sean's go out. stowed away under threat, and he's still out there. Yeah. He's a little kid, yeah. Like so, I said, they should have put him in the boat and taken him back with his brother, but whatever. Kid can stay out yeah, there. That's fine. So the shark has decimated the regatta. Now they've tied the boats together yes. as a flotilla. Mm -hmm. yes. I'm going to use as many of these words as I can. <laughs> Thank and, you. And sure. uh, the helicopter... Yeah. arrives the, to rescue the them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, Brody calls for a chopper, says, get up there, go find him, and he eventually does, mm -hmm. and lands on his pontoons. And so he's going to drag him back. To, oh, he's going to drag him to Cable Junction and then call. Yeah, he's going to tow him to the rocks so that yes. they can at least be on land. Yes. Yeah. And so they're all tied up and everything, and he gets it all going. And then, as he's trying to take off, shark, up in the pontoons, grabs the helicopter, flips it over in the water. Pulls the whole thing under. Whole thing down. The blades are disintegrated, which yeah. also disintegrates what's left of the sails yeah. for these people. It's uh, great. It's a great scene. I mean, Maybe I that's like when it. they had to tie them all together. It was after that? Mm. No, they were tied together before that, oh, okay. too. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. they all had extra ropes and they were thrown yeah. around. It's like it, they were tied together and it just kind of slowly gets chipped away at. Yeah, it. basically, yeah. like yes. from bad to worse. Yeah. This is the, yeah. Yeah, and then, but this leads to the moment that I think one of the scarier moments for me when I watched this when I was younger um, because they were all tied together and again the helicopter decimates their sails and mm -hmm. there's a whole big panic and everything and then uh, Sean and I forgot the other character's name the woman who's looking after him and she was in his boat they, uh, Sean falls in the water she goes after him and then she gets him back up on their tipped over boat but she can't get up and there's this moment in the water where you see the shark uh, it's underwater but it's coming up from the depths mm -hmm. and it's got this like it looks like an evil shark smile as it it's does. going for his victim. <laughs> and that one always freaked me out yeah. because then it comes up and totally just eats her and goes down right in front of Sean. It like swallows it her whole. It does. Like, yeah. uh, yeah. Again, another timing thing. Yeah. Again, they said it took all day to get this yeah. shot, but it works great. It's what I want in a shark movie. Yes. Yeah. Like, cause it just Absolutely. gets her and she's gone. And yeah. Mm. Great Sharks scene. are fucking terrifying. Sharks are terrifying. That that's my thing. I don't want to be poop. <laughs> I don't want to be anything's excrement at any point. Yeah. I don't want to be eaten. Oh, there was a was he a Russian tourist? Oh, in Egypt? Oh no! Like this this video. Oh, it's terrible. You get torn apart by a tiger shark. Like while everybody's watching, you can't do anything. No, but Ugh. you see the guy get flipped up. Yeah, it's horrible. Ugh. But okay, anyway, nope, sharks. <laughs> it's Ugh. gonna bother me for a while. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, they're horrible, awful creatures. <laughs> they attack from below. But, they're uh, beautiful creatures. Yeah. God damn it! I mean, it's true. Yes. There's a blood cloud that. Pff, oh, yeah. oh yeah. Um. So now that. Uh, uh, oh yeah. Uh, and Sean, they have to like they have to rope him back in because he's fucking terrified and just hanging on to yeah. the, mm -hmm. the rudder of the boat at this point. Personalities, you among better grab the, that uh, rope. <laughs> I'm, gonna, so I'm gonna break mean. your ass. They're so mean about <laughs> well, you're frustrated. I mean, you'd be frustrated with the kid at this point. He's terrified. I know, yeah, but he's not listening, and you need him to grab the rope. Well, then maybe they should away. maybe they should make more of an effort of making it into a lasso and getting the kid themselves. <laughs> but if the kid would participate, he could save himself. He's a child. God damn it, Sean. <laughs> He's a child. Listen here. He's not yelling at me, Colin. <laughs> yeah. Grab that rope. Yelling, um, yelling is not going to help, Sean. No. No. So the, it worked, though. I mean, it did. Because then Sean does grab the rope yeah. and uh, is towed over to safety. Right. Uh, relative safely. Relative safely. Of the as, group. And they still float over towards Cable Junction, yeah. kind mm -hmm. of. 
as they're explained they get, by they Keith get real Gordon. close real close but real Keith close. Gordon explains is like for every meter we go forward we go to the right a little bit so they might miss it yeah so they're really trying here um and uh within this time the shark kind of attacks a few more times mm-hmm. a little bit it's coming up from beneath them and knocking people into the water I like that uh there was one girl um the the most 70s looking girl praise the Jesus the, yeah she's got gets, long hair uh, yeah, yeah she's got the 70s look she gets um scraped by the shark. Yeah, she like does. sideswiped. Yeah, yeah, yeah it just really kind does. of grazes her and it like tears off some of her stomach, you know, Big skin scrape, or whatever. Yeah. And uh, I always thought that was fascinating because I'm sure you've watched a bunch of Shark Week and all this stuff. But back then I was reading, you know, Jaws made kids read books on sharks mm. and the idea that, you know, their skin is like sandpaper or something, you know, Ooh. so it was like, yeah, if it if it grazed you, yeah. you'd, you'd get like a yeah, pretty she, good burn. She, yeah, she gets like a rash. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. A road real, rash. Real, yeah, a real heavy it road is. rash at that point from yeah. a fucking shark. Yeah. Um, but then Brody shows up. Thank God. Out oh, of thank because, finally. Um, probably because she prayed for... Uh, 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 or that he ran reason. into his son and they told him where they were. Yeah. That's this, probably it. That's probably it. More, <laughs> more so than Jesus. Uh, yeah. Divine intervention but sent Chief Brody to the other girl prayed the, for the shark Jesus, to go away. And Jesus went away. sent the shark. Okay. Um, um, as he does all sharks. He's in charge. But we remember what Percy Rodriguez said. Uh, the devil? Yeah. <laughs> no, go. It was it was if God created the devil and gave him jaws. Yeah. That's, see, he was so good. I know he was great. He was great. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I love great voices in film. Yeah. Um, so Brody, Brody finally gets there. Mm-hmm. Beaches his craft because he, the shark like attacks in the middle. Yeah. He's right. To- He's going to like, he, again, a lot of rope thrown on this, but he throws mm-hmm. the rope. He's like, everybody come over. We'll get you all aboard and we'll get out of here. And then the shark attacks and bites. The shark knows what's going yeah. on. He's yeah, like, I'm going to bite does. this rope. You can't get him out of here. Yeah. He freaks out, crashes into a cable junction into the rocks. And so he's still got to figure out a way to try and get these kids to the rocks at this point. Yeah. And at this point, like, all of the kids but two fall off the rafts and make it to the rocks. Right, because yeah. they're trying to, yeah, he's trying to get them all over there. So they mm-hmm. fall out. This is where the side swiping happens. Yeah, because mm-hmm. he's trying to drag, like, a cape, a, he's a got rope his, over. On the back of his boat, he's got the thing that drags the bottom. When yeah. he, And so he's like, I'll, you tie to this, I'll let it go, and then I'll pull you over to me because I'm already on the island. Mm-hmm. Um, but then it ends up getting snit. Like, they should have started pulling sooner before it got to the bottom of yeah, the ocean. They but really whatever. should. But whatever. Uh, you I know. was kind of wondering, I was like, what the fuck are they doing? Yeah, pull like, now seems, so it doesn't get yeah. to the bottom. Yeah. yeah. But it does get to the bottom. Sure does. Thankfully. Uh, but it does get snagged on the power line, which we did Check see. Off's Check off's power, power line, line which yep. we did see earlier. Yeah. Which you always wonder, like, how do we get power to an island? Right. Yeah. Underground, underground, underground power power cables. Lines. Underground yeah. power yeah. lines and cables yeah. and everything. So I know. Like, I like that the, the, the first, almost one of the first images that we see is the camera and the photo becomes like a big, uh, you know, payoff mm. uh, in the first act. And the power line is also dredged up at one point. Yep. Becomes like the payoff. I mean, now when he watches, like, it's obvious what they're doing. But I think, you know, this is decent script right yeah. here right oh yeah it's I'd like the so. stuff pays off um so yeah the plan being brody's going to uh indiana jones his way down the power line <laughs> and his to little raft his tiny little raft <laughs> with his paddle earlier in the movie when um the orca uh uh the whale the actual whale um the killer whale had been killed and was on the beach they called in an expert to examine the wounds and everything to figure out what had been done to it. And um, they talk, him, Brody and her talk about what attracts a shark mm-hmm. uh, motion. And, um, but they get to the point where a sound, low frequency mm-hmm. repeated sounds will draw a shark in. Which and must be new to this uh, movie because uh, it wasn't in the first one. Because he's like, what sound? You know? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Sound. Yeah. Also, rhythmic sound. Yeah. Or any unusual. Yeah. yeah. Sound they, they're always coming up with yeah. something because even in Jaws, the Revenge, they're like, uh, the, the high frequency will draw them in as well. <laughs> and we get that. So they're always finding a way to attract a shark. But since the cable goes into the I mean, water. It is kind of true because after the first Jaws movie, we started learning a lot oh, yeah, more ev- about I'm sharks. I'm sure everyone was just like, so, I need to learn everything about sharks right uh, now. The fact that like little pieces keep coming out with every Jaws movie is actually pretty accurate. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, yeah. and it's fun. And it, it adds to it over the years. Yeah. Um, but so Brody is just like, all right, I'm going to get, I, I got this power cable. I got this fucking shark in the water. I'm going to beat it with my paddle. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw him in to electrocute him that's his plan he's like you're gonna bite this you're gonna die yeah, but it's hopefully like pretty, it's pretty decently done even though it's, again, done, no, it's on the surface again, but you know that thing 
beaches itself or whatever. It launches yeah. itself at him and a button I, surface. Yeah, I, th- I like this is a this is a good um, kind of um, uh, an equal to the uh, the ending of Jaws, where yeah. he's just you know, mm. uh, come on, you son of a bitch. Um, but he's he's yelling at it and calling it in, and he's just like, I got something for you. Yeah. And it's I think the music is really great at this moment, and I think it all comes together. And the shark comes in and bites that fucking cable. Brody jumps out of the way, and that thing is toast. Yep. It burns pretty good. It I guess does. that's what's awesome about it. It's, it's, just, it's on fire, and there's sparks flying all right? over. Right, and it does. <laughs> there's, there's fire flying all over it the place. It is. There's this one shot that I've always loved because when it's totally on fire and you hear the noise of it, but there's one shot where it goes in real close to the jaws and you really hear the fire like bubbling and going oh, yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 that <laughs> shot has always stuck with me, that visual and that sound where it's just those jaws moving around. It's like, oh, that fucker's on fire. Yeah, <laughs> like, He's not coming back. And there it is. And then credits roll and credits. it's like, get the monster's yeah. dead, get the fuck out. Yeah, done. Yeah. Uh, just done. like that. Nope. <laughs> Which we like here. They yeah. didn't mess around back in the 70s. And in 78, there were uh, like, Five waves of credits and then you were done. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's it. It's a beautiful thing. Um, in the novel, also it was revealed that it was a female shark, the uh, mate of the original shark. Uh, I think it was that pregnant. makes sense. Uh, okay, but right. we got that. In well, Jaws it's gotta be 3D. pregnant because then it probably gave birth before it went off and, and yeah. fought its last fight, and then that shark is the shark from. I'm gonna say Jaws Revenge. It's yeah, a great Jaws 3D. No, nah, it's different. They were yeah, in other places and all that some stuff. Damn shark's mother. I'm, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That's my favorite. Uh, I know. It's a great line. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Louis Gonson Jr., for being the best. The I want best. some lights down here. <laughs> Can't you get shit down there? Give me some lights. <laughs> His yelling is so good in that movie. Um, all right. So now. Uh, Damn. <laughs> We're gonna uh, <laughs> re- we're gonna read some of your mail before we tell you if you should watch Jaws two. Mm. And to do that, we're gonna have to summon the assistance of our mailman Igor. Won't you bring us the mail, Masters? Masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why? Thank you, Igor. His name's a little boat. He's, he's paddled over. He's, he's all paddled with your leak down here. He's just going. He's paddling over your leak, yeah. Colin, and he's coming in. So that's right. Thank I have a Igor. leaky basement tonight. We, we brought also, the ocean with us. Right, it's coming in. Yeah, we can also summon him with sound frequencies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. Well, we should remind the good folks at home how they can participate on this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook, Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show, or Twitter at Sat Freak Show. Or you can email us Saturday, Saturday Night Freak Show, Freak Show at, at Yahoo.com. Yahoo. Or you can follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show about tonight's movie, Jaws 2. Woo. Travis Legler writes in and says, Fuck yes! I've been <laughs> hoping you guys <laughs> would do this movie for years. Many call it a cheap remake of Jaws, but there's a lot of fun with this movie. Jaws 2 and 3 are a lot of fun in their own rights. Uh, Travis, also a uh, dedicated fan of this movie, included a lot of behind the scenes oh. uh, information. Uh, you want to read his comments on our Facebook page? Go to it. Uh, Jesse Butler writes in and says, I love these cash grab creature feature sequels. <laughs> a shark attacks a helicopter is an easy sell to get me to check it out. Yep. Speaking of cash grab creature fe- feature sequels, have you seen the trailer for the Meg 2? Because I know how much you guys, quote, unquote, loved the first movie. <sighs> Fucking hate. I told you. I told you. I told you. That's the one of the only ones it I'm going to be like, to I told you so. It needed yeah. to happen. I disagree. It needed to happen. Adam Kaler says, honestly, Jaws 2 is probably the second best movie in this series. However, it yes. feels like the least memorable. How can you compete with the original, the 3D, or Kill Bill Jaws? I'm not much of a shark fan, and I'm amazed how much they've snuck into the zeitgeist to pop culture mm. with things such as Shark Week and Sharknado. Freak Show, do you have an opinion on why shark movies have been so popular over the years yeah that's a i think that's an easy one it's you know we uh, the water it's it's an unknown mankind is drawn to the water you want to go to yeah. the beach right every we, person wants to go to the I beach mean, right but that's <laughs> especially lately we've realized mankind will always be drawn to the water yes regardless yeah. right like, we, we'll, we'll even look. though we know what's down there right. we keep checking it out <laughs> yeah, recent events will tell us this but uh, uh and nature says don't go in the water yeah yeah and it's just, it's just, and they're always there. Like it's, all, I mean, this Jaws is one of the major reasons I think, still to this day, yeah. that people are just like. What else are you afraid of in the water? The barracuda. Uh, you know, it's. Well, I, mean, I think, I think a lot of it is that there Jellyfish. is. 
<laughs> That's <laughs> the only other one. I'm like yeah, sharks yeah. and jellyfish. Well, I think one of the biggest fears is that there's so much of the ocean that hasn't been explored because we can't. Yeah, and that's what's terrifying. Knows, we have no idea what's not. You no, can't but, see any shit in there. We have no idea what's swimmers, down there. Swimmers is you know people do go in to swim, and they're yeah. probably well. I mean, I guess the unknown. Yeah, the unknown. Saying. They're all yeah. psychos. Anybody who goes swimming in the ocean. Most people don't encounter an octopus, maybe, but they may encounter a jellyfish or worse. I literally yeah. just watched a video today a of a woman sitting on a dock, and an octopus like came out of the water, like tried to grab her feet. <laughs> see, yeah. they're getting braver. Yeah. yeah. They are. Cthulhu's they're getting, they're getting angry, up. John. <laughs> Land angry. sharks. <laughs> Land shark. Ghost shark. I like ghost shark. Go, what? Ghost it's the ghost of a shark. What are the physics of that? It can move through land. There's beach shark. This is a real thing? There is land shark, I think. It, yeah. it's well, ghost, shark, ghost shark is a real. Ghost shark yeah. is real. Yeah. How does that Probably, work? It's from the asylum or some one of those people who put out the wow. companies. That, yeah. Does, yeah. Okay, I, want, uh, I need to know. Is that the is movie. that the one? There's like a scene with a slip and slide. Is that I think that one? so. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Sorry, there's one on the toilet. Yeah, yeah. that's the one. Yeah. Okay, no shark. I gotta, uh, I'll anywhere. look it. Up. I'll look it up. I'll look it up because uh, <laughs> I, I feel like I need to see this. Aaron Don Gilmer writes in and says, "Yes, it's the only one of the series that is a straight up stock and slash movie. I even listened yes. to Ballet yeah. for Divers as part of my no. sleep mix. I love it. And I love you all. <laughs> oh, thank I you. Love you." We agree. It's a good stock and slash. Uh, Jacob Law says it's not a bad sequel. I thought the two face shark design was cool and the helicopter attack was awesome. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, sure. Simon Carter shark. says it's a fun watch and it's actually a pretty smart movie to not really try and replicate the original. It's definitely more of a slasher movie than a master class intention. Agreed. See, you guys know this. Yeah, everybody yeah. knows it's a slasher yeah, movie. Everybody. Okay. All right. Fine. That's, just, that's its opinion. That's its. Uh, that's what it is now. All right. Uh, last week we watched a movie called Manhunter and about oh. Manhunter, uh, we were talking about Manhunter and Red Dragon yeah, a lot. Yeah, Red those... Dragon fared a little better than I thought it would here. No thanks to Colin, but <laughs> as I listened to it and Colin's just like, no, just everything, that. everything, uh, everything. Well, I love I, Red I Dragon. Say, I, it, <laughs> I prefer okay. everything about Man. Yeah, I'm not wanna, saying Red Dragon is a terrible movie. Right, just, no, all right, and I want to put out there. And this is mostly towards Michaela. Like, I, there was a few times words were put into my mouth about how I felt about these movies. <laughs> I do not dislike Manhunter in any way, shape, or form. I've never said that. I was just saying, <laughs> Red Dragon is also good. Okay. That's the only thing I've ever said. Yeah. Well, Maya Manson <laughs> says they're both great adaptations. I refuse to pick one over the other. Probably I'm with I'm, you. Uh, that's where Holly ended you. up. That's probably where I'll end up. Too. Yep. However, thinking it over, <laughs> I guess I prefer Manhunter <laughs> because I've seen it several times and I would watch it again. Whereas I don't feel like I need to see Red Dragon again, even though I liked it. I would watch it again. I liked it. I like both. Yeah. Uh, Michael Whitaker says the trauma of working this case was so severe that Will Graham went into hiding for a few years, changed his name, and then found employment with the Las Vegas Crime Scene Investigation Unit. <laughs> How's that for yes. some head cannon? Uh, I like it. I like it. Works for me. That's fun. I There's like nothing it. that says that's wrong. Uh, the week before, we watched a movie called Fantasy Island, and oh. Jeff Miller says, fun yeah. fact. Okay. Frank Doubleday, the actor who was in John Carpenter's Assault on Precinct 13, and Escape from New York, he's easily recognizable. I will interject here and say he was Romero, the guy who welcomes uh, Lee Van Cleef to uh, New York. Okay. And is holding the president captive in the, I don't know, he's got the mohawk. Anyway, okay. he has a daughter named Portia who plays Sloan in this film. No. Oh. And then he says, how would Charles Dance work as Mr. Rourke instead of uh, Michael Pena in the remake? Charles Dance. He seems like a good Mr. Rourke. I He'd just be mentioned good. It, like, yeah. I can see that. I mean, eventually he could be they charming with, and devilish. They yeah. went with Malcolm McDowell in the TV show, but Charles Dance, I think, would have been yeah, better. I can see that. If God were a villain, it'd yeah. be me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great line. That's, yep, a great line. that's the last action hero. Yep. Um, well, thank you that. very much, all of you, for writing in sincerely. Yes, we thank appreciate you. it. We appreciate it. it. And now we're going to go. Colin. Mm. I don't yell at Colin too yeah, often to go first. Colin, go first. What did you think of tonight's movie, Jaws 2? Um, big nostalgia hit here because, like I said, this is one of the earliest memories of movies um, that I have. Um, and uh, I really liked it at the time. And then I think, I, like I said, I saw it before um, the original Jaws. Mm. Um, there's a, it was actually its stature was only reduced, like I said, in uh, comparing it directly to the first. One. Sure. But when you watch it on its own, it's like it does, you know, um, 
a lot of things right. It feels like a pretty good movie. It's got a lot of good moments. It's got some character stuff. I saw, um, uh, you know, because this is back in the era when they tried to make people, uh, uh, characters Mm. seem like people by kind of fleshing them out with like these little details that you, you know, uh, storytelling. Yeah. Roy Scheider makes a lot of acting choices. Like, you know, there's those scenes where he's like hanging out in the bathroom and sticking his tongue out at himself. And, you know, it, it just humanizes the guy. And yeah. yeah. I like when he looks into his kid's room, he's just got the cigarette sitting in his mouth and he gives yeah. a little smile. Yeah. And yeah. Well, we were even saying like, the, 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 um, at the beginning, the uh, high school band is uh, performing yeah. at the yeah. celebration. The guy teaching, has a or you're conducting has a crew cut mm. and you're like oh because it's like you know the rotc or like that guy's like a former you know serviceman who's there i mean like there's uh, you know these details that they just kind of put into the characterizations of this small town mm. this is like how the effect of jaws like you know the original jaws affected this small town right mm. everybody's mm-hmm. got ptsd yeah. especially uh roy scheider yeah right yeah. Um, he's completely, completely believable. I think everybody else in the cast is like, you know, I mean, the kids are, you know, starting out actors. So some of the stuff is, you know, but I mean, like it's slasher movie kids. Yeah. They're slasher movie kids, but it's, there's this, uh, you know, all these experienced people on the other half of it. And it's like, um, the shark, I guess I have all the criticisms that I brought up are because I'm aware that those criticisms exist Mm. more so than I actually like have a problem with any of that stuff. I mean, now that you've seen CGI sharks and everything that you go see, right. Am I going to say to an audience who's been weaned on that stuff, like watch jaws is going to be the most realistic jaws too. It's the most realistic shark. I have a kid and it doesn't work that way. You can't go back because now I think they all think the practical stuff is goofy looking. So he'll do, say, yeah. like, this looks very stiff and rigid. I and, think so. You know, like these that, new ones can yeah. maneuver and, you know, attack. Right. That's yeah. the world they live in now. Yeah. So for that, then it's like, well, then, well, I mean, but that's what I'm saying. Even the critics of the time mm. knew that, you know? Um, I mean, I don't know. I think it's fine for what it, you know, it's trying to do. Yeah, they probably overshow the shark to really maximize it. That's why. Jaws will still hold up as a classic because it doesn't have an over reliance on the uh, the mechanical shark. This one does a lot. Oh yeah. Um, so I don't know. Is that a demerit? I don't know. I still like the movie. I'd still recommend that you watch it. I think it's a strong entry and one of probably uh, only because of where it is in the timeline of of these things. I think it's significant. You know, the other thing that I noticed about this and Superman, which uh, they both came a- came out in seventy eight. Yep. The and Close Encounters of the Third Kind was what seventy seven, mm-hmm. yeah. This, because that's why Richard Dreyfus and the part of the reason him and Spielberg weren't because they uh, Close Encounters was going over time, which is yeah. why they didn't come back and do it. This is the era of the um, the the product tie in. Uh, a lot of where, Coca-Cola in this movie. Yeah, there's a lot of Coca-Cola. And when, whenever you have Coca-Cola, it's turned toward the camera. You're going to eat yeah. your Cheerios. It's turned toward... You watch Superman, but they I do the exact Fruit same Loops. thing. Loops, no. Yeah, you were going to eat truck. Cheerios. It's yeah. this kind of yeah. like... Uh, it seems to me in my memory that like it was uh, uh, Steven Spielberg and Stephen King mm. uh, always kind of like tried to tie their fantasy to the real world by using brand name stuff mm-hmm. right you know yeah because i'm thinking of maximum overdrive at this point that had a lot of product yeah. stuff in it well, well in his writing yeah. and stuff yeah, it's yeah. always like brand name steven uh, spielberg would do and, like the same reese's thing. pieces right. come yeah. on yeah. yeah and so that started a trend in movies and then companies were like hey we'll actually pay you if you you know yeah, yeah. okay well, the anyway. world was never the same and now you're gonna watch <laughs> jaws 2 going like yeah there's a lot of product placement in this movie That's like fine. wow yeah. look at the coke look and at Cheerios. that coke I don't remember anything yeah. else, probably a video game or something. Holly, what'd you think of Jaws 2? Is that a recommendation? Yes. I say, yeah, <laughs> I <remember. laughs> uh, yeah, no, I like Jaws 2. I think it's a fun movie. Um, you know, we don't, our criticisms are different, I think, on this show than what we would normally project onto movies that would come out nowadays. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, yeah, we're watching a movie with a really. It's t- saying we're a little more forgiving. We're watching a movie with a really terrible shark. 
Oh. But that's why we're oh. watching it because it's so damn charming. I like, love I love that shark. I love the mechanical shark. It doesn't look real, but I like it. You know, that's why I'm watching it. I've got that nostalgia for that fake shark. Um, but it's just a fun movie. You know, I think. I think if they had tried to make it more like Jaws, it wouldn't have worked. But the fact that they do make it more like a slasher movie is why it's why it works. Mm -hmm. It's like you're doing something different, but still have the familiarity from the first one. You've got the the people, the scenery. It's similar enough, but it's doing something different that it works as an individual movie. And I really like that. Um, yeah, it's a fun movie. I don't I don't have any I don't have any issues with this. I like the I like the charm of the cheesy mechanical shark i think it works for me um yeah this is a fun one this is one of obviously jaws is jaws and that will always be everyone's <laughs> right. favorite there's certain ones that are just like jaws is jaws, jaws, is is jaws. and they just are what they we'll are be your, it'll be your favorite that is what it is but jaws 2 is definitely my second favorite it's it's a good movie for sure i highly recommend sean looking at the cover i'm just noticing that the two and jaws 2 looks almost exactly the same as the two and scream 2 i just want it to really put that does. out there yeah um, it does Jaws 2 is, uh, I think, is a, a really good, a really good movie. This is one of my, I mean, as far as shark movies go, it's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, we won't talk too much about, uh, any more about Jaws, because like, like we said, Jaws is Jaws. Jaws is Jaws. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. We, we, uh, we all love that. Um, I, I really do like the way they went with this movie, again, yeah. uh, as a... Uh, as we talked about it, it is it, it's a you know it is a slasher movie. It's also a good character movie, like you guys mm -hmm. talked about. I like all the people in this and yeah. the progress they've that they have made sense or uh, the way forward that they go in this mm -hmm. movie. Um, Roy Scheider for not wanting to be here does I think great work. Everyone's mm -hmm. doing great. Um, I love the scenes again. I love the shark. I love our Scarface shark. Oh god, that's just I love fun. It. Yeah. Like this is a fun movie to me. It like is a fun I, movie. the music, I think is still good because John Williams comes back and he's yeah. doing it. It's it's adventurous at times. It's slasher movie at times. Um, it it's it is it is sailing on the wide ocean. Like that's that's yeah. the sound you get from it. Um, Sean literally this. just turned into an I, old I salt. I it and then I I'm like forward. Like I'm the captain of the <laughs> ship right now. Literally just turned into an old salt. It it was it's uh, this is a really fun movie. This is a summer movie. It is. It's a yeah. summer movie. And like and we're in it right now. And 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 fuck all the other shark movies. Like Jaws <laughs> two. I think is still fucking really good. And I think you get more out of this than you get out of most recent shark movies. Um. Yeah, I'll, I'll 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 watch this one forever. This one's this one's great. I have no qualms about going back to this like I would uh, Jaws: The Revenge because <laughs> that's one you don't really go back to. But oh, no, but bad. Jaws and Jaws too. Like that's a that's a great. Uh, don't watch them back to back. Apparently, because uh, you'll see the differences. But Jaws two is still great in my opinion. I think you should all watch it. I think it. that was my mistake last year when I watched it. I literally watched them back to back. Yeah, again, I think that was a mistake. I think that is the problem we're coming in. Let's just um, make this a standalone. Just I think yeah, this is, this is a different mood. I think yes, this is a totally different mood. Yes, it is. Um, but I think you can still watch this today and get a lot of fun out of this movie. Uh, forever one of my favorites. I recommend Jaws too. This, this is a good one. All right, well, there that's we uh, Freak Show approved. I feel like Michaela would also approve. Yeah, I yeah. think so, too. I think so. She think would so. recognize the, uh, what you said, yeah. she'd recognize, like, uh, you know, the shark and everything. Yeah, just like, but the yeah, charm, it's still good. the nostalgia, we love it's it, yeah. All right, well, that means you have to watch Jaws, too, if you haven't seen it already. So Great you summer under movie. Rock. Uh, yeah. Go watch it. All right. Yeah. We love it. Next week, we're going to watch a movie that's chosen by. Hi! Mm. Ooh, what are we going to watch next week? I've had several people asking Ooh. me with the current uh, news topics if we're going to be doing Titanic or The Abyss. <laughs> and I'm just like, you clearly don't understand this podcast. Those Ooh. aren't nearly tasteless enough. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what? Oh, no. <laughs> we're uh, going to watch Deep Star Six. Oh, we, oh okay. okay. <laughs> I have not seen Deep Star Six. There we go. We're going under the ocean. <laughs> Okay, so soon <laughs> we're going to find out this is. No. next week on the <laughs> Saturday Star Night Six. Freak Show. We hope you'll join us. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark.